hello hello thought I would do a mini uh, video today and actually I'm gonna do a reading so I haven't done a reading for a while just got guided on the spur of the moment to do a reading and funnily enough the card that actually fell out first look at that was the world so I do feel that this is important this reading this is all about what's going on now and I'm not going to go into great details about things because there is so much going on that it would probably take me forever to actually do that. But what I've picked up and, you know, I mean, I've, I literally knew that it was going to be about what's going on now in the planet. And I picked up and pulled just for the world card these two other cards that came out just for the world card. So earth energy and emotion. So the world. Now, we all know what's going on, don't we? So there are many of us that know the undercurrent of what's going on. And there are many of uh, humanity that just know the surface of what's going on. So with this card, I really feel that we can all, doesn't matter where you are on the spectrum of awakening, um, and if I guess that if you're a skeptic, you wouldn't be watching this video anyway. So, um, or if you're not awakened, you wouldn't be watching this video anyway. So what we, I really feel it's important that we focus on bringing that beautiful light particle energy that's coming from the cosmos and aligning it through ourselves, because we should be connected both above and below, and aligning it through ourselves and allowing that energy to come down through us and into the earth. We are the grounding rods. We are. Uh, and talking about grounding, it's really, really important at the moment to stay grounded. So even, the, doesn't matter whether it's wet or windy or wherever you are on the planet, go outside, take your shoes and socks off and stand on the earth and picture your energy connecting with the earth and at the same time if you like draw that light from the cosmos down through you and down into the earth radiating out through you in all directions but also connecting down into the earth really important to do this at the moment there is a spiritual war going on between the dark and the light. Now, when I see it, I look into it and I can see into another dimension where there literally is energy that's weaving backwards and forwards, the dark and the light. But I will say the light tendrils, I want to say, is seeping through the dark. So the light is winning. But because the dark knows the light is winning, the dark is trying to do everything it possibly can to disrupt the light. So that means uh, in other realms, there are things that can disrupt and come into your field. If you're a light worker, it's extremely important at the moment to keep your own spiritual hygiene up to scratch. So that's grounding, connecting above, but also making sure your field is clear. If it's not, clear it or find someone who can clear it for you. Because it's really important to not allow the influence of anything whether it's in this dimension or another dimension, to seep into your field to di disrupt your energy flow, your frequency. Because you are evolving. As a light worker, you are evolving. And it's not, well, it is on a consciousness level, definitely. No two ways about that. 
and it's not just on a physical level it's not actually it will affect the physical level a little bit but on an energy level and a consciousness level you are evolving big time your light body is expanding your light quotient is expanding your whole energy sequence uh, and frequency is growing and expanding and connecting as you grow and expand to all that is all that exists so what are we here i'm also being guided to connect to the power animals this has been coming up for me over the last few days hugely connect to your own lion energy that means your inner power your empowerment feel it within you because the lion is the roar if you like and and think about a lion roaring the stance of the lion the energy that comes from the lion and then the roar that comes from the lion and the frequency and the literally the energy that you can't see with a human eye that comes from the lion well it's time for us all now to stand up and be our lion stand up know who we are and energetically beam our energy out there stand strong on the ground don't waver from who you are very important So, actually, going back to the earthing, it's very important to stay anchored to the earth. Very important. Put your roots down into the earth from you. And emotion. We're all becoming so much more sensitive. So there will be emotions that come up and they're coming up to be released. Uh, so honour your sensitivity, emotional issues that surround you pass as you take time to reflect, heal and restore your positive energy. So keep, how can I say it? Look from a higher perspective at what is unfolding around the world. Look on a whole at what is unfolding around the world. The truth is being revealed. So, it's important for you to keep your own personal energy and your own spiritual hygiene up to scratch. It's also important to keep your body fit and healthy because it's the whole package that has to move forward that is evolving. So keeping fit, putting good stuff into your body, so it's the whole package. It's not just the energy or the light that we're, you know, or your soul. We actually have to work on the physical as well. Very important. Keep yourself fit, healthy. Try not to put all these chemicals in your, um, uh, you know, in your body. And also keep up your spiritual hygiene. So, I had two cards that fell out together and I knew I had to separate them. The tower and the, uh, the knight of pentacles. Now, I'm going to do the tower first. Now, the tower falling out tells me that there is still more shocking things to come. Now, they will be on several levels. There's a lot of us that know about a lot of the stuff that's going on. It's not good at all, and uh, more of that will be revealed. Um, there are also the people out there that don't know about a lot of this stuff that's going on. That is, it is going to be revealed to them um, as the news channels become separated from their controllers i'll put it that way and actually the truth is starting to uh, be put out over the news 
So the tower represents there is still more shocking things that are going to be revealed and there is going to be more loss. I don't I don't do negative stuff, but I have to say the truth of what I'm getting. There is still going to be more loss. You are being focused or being guided to focus on love. Because this will help you through. Don't give uh, your energy to uh, the death and destruction that's going on out there. Focus on love and sending love out. As much as you might feel anger at what's going on within, try and not get wrapped up in that emotion. Focus on sending love out to everything, the planet Earth, all of humanity. And let's try and shatter that darkness with our love. Just remember that love is patient and kind and the most powerful frequency and emotion that exists in creation. Love is. If you can do this, you will learn from it. It will change your own energy signature to become much more vibrant. It will help you to rise above what's going on. And it will help you to become stronger in yourself. Please do this. Release the negative emotions like hate and all those things. And focus on radiating love out. You will help transmute the dark energy if you can do that. And you will certainly really clear yourself from attracting any of the darkness in. What else has come out with this? Even though it's come out with some shocking things are still going to be revealed. Loss is still going to come up. Have fun has come out with this as well. So don't just be alive. Don't just let life flow on through without getting out there and doing the things that you enjoy. Dance in the garden of life. If you're not passionate, because this lockdown has changed a lot of people and, and the way people think and the way people feel. If you're not passionate about what you're doing anymore, it's time to make a change. Explore new options. Explore and have fun and go towards things that excite you. So that is, there's two polarities. So the tower was one of them. That was the more negative one, even though there's a lot of positive in it about having more fun and focusing on love. But that was more about the practical things that are still going to take place on this planet. Some of it is going to be shocking. But remember to focus on love and sending love to those things, those areas, that disease, whatever it is. Sending love into it. It's the most powerful frequency that exists. So that was, let's call this the dark and the light. Remember the light is seeping into the dark. The dark is losing slowly, but it is. So this is the light. So it is time to cultivate relationships, bringing love back into your small family unit and to your wider family unit, to your friends. Uh, gathering together if you can, if you're not in lockdown, wherever you are. So having small gatherings, um, inviting people over for dinner or for a meal and focusing on relationships. 
cultivating relationships, giving and receiving of gifts, whether it's on an energy level or whether it is an actual thing. And when people come together, you find throughout history and throughout um, a lot of uh, the tribes that um, exist and did exist, that everyone used to chat and discuss things and come together over food. So it is time to start bringing that back in and inviting people round for dinner, getting people to bring a plate um, and inviting people in for dinner. And so you can have good conversations and good chats and that feeling of belonging, even your neighbours. Invite them in. What else is important is not just your immediate family, your uh, a bit of extended family, your neighbours and in your your little social arena that's around you, but also writing to other people. So you might have family in other countries, you might have friends in other countries, writing to them, keeping those connections open, those channels open. So emails, writing emails and keeping in contact with people. So it really is a time for gathering together with like-minded friends, um, families, warm hearts and a sense of purpose as relationships grow closer and enrich each other. That is the light. So some more cards fell out, so I'm going to go ahead with this as well. So the past, money, money worries. You've had money in the past and now it almost, you know, you've been, over to, been able to travel and everything was in balance and everything felt good and there was money around and, and everything else. And now even though there's all this other stuff going on, As long as you don't get too wrapped up in the emotion of it all, we're at a point of um, clarity, connection to the earth, connection to the animals. We have enough to see us through and lots of growth for us all. It's also a time to think about what you would like to do. So maybe your own personal business, your creative business, whatever it is. It's time to perhaps give that some energy. Dreams have come out with this. So your guides and your team are connecting with you through your dreams. So are your family that have passed already in spirit. They're connecting to you through your dreams. So take notice of what they are trying to tell you. Some wonderful insights await you. And it's time now to lead. You have wisdom, knowledge and strength. Share your thoughts, insights and feelings through words of purpose to inspire others through leadership. It's time to share our wisdom. It really is time to share our wisdom. So the next card out, which is a little bit further in the future, con contentment's come out. Peace of mind and contentment has come out. So it's important to stay in that energy and also connection to your soul family. Very important to keep that connection to your family and friends and clarity See this situation clearly with open eyes. Use truth to enlighten you and make wise choices about your career and love life. It's time to actually do things differently. It's not You're not going to go back to the same as you were six or seven months ago. It's now time to do things differently. So what's come out next is... Things are winding down. 
So th this is on a, a planetary level. We're going through a huge shift, as you can see. You, you can you know, you, you know, we are. And that huge shift actually is going to lead to freedom. It is. It doesn't feel like it at the moment. You're not probably seeing it at the moment. But actually, there's so much more going on behind the scenes. But it is eventually going to come to freedom. So things are winding down. There's, there's big shifts going on. So old stuff is winding down and new things are starting to come in. So this is why it's important to get your creative flow going. Happiness and bright prospects are ahead. It's important to stay in that energy. And it is your time to shine, literally with your light, but also with everything that you do. Freedom belongs to those who feel, see and breathe it. You have made it through the darkness to rise to the light within. That is so important for right now. It is your time to shine. Freedom belongs to those who feel, see and breathe it. You have made it through the darkness to rise to the light within. Shine that light out. So we have to release the need to control things because if we push at things, we actually block them. So again, keep sending that love out. And it's good to step back from what you are seeing unfold around the world. Again, I'm going to go back to looking at things from a higher perspective. So there's lots more to unfold, my lovely friends. But it is so important to focus on love, looking at things from a higher mind, connecting and staying connected to other humans and animals, taking time out for yourself and explore new areas. So go and explore and have some fun and also spend time with animals, healing beautiful energy, beautiful connection. And they're not seeing or realising what's going on that we see. And it is time to just be in that frequency, in that vibration of unconditional love, of fun and joy and play, and um, really focusing on that energy. And remember to share your love and light out there, even to things that you think or you feel are disgusting that's going on, send it love and light. Because energetically and on a spiritual level, that means you're getting the light in there and the light will shatter. Remember, the light is intelligent in nature. It knows exactly where to go and what to do. And with love behind it, very, very powerful. So... Much love from me. Um, hope you are keeping that high vibe wherever you are. Uh, sending you so much love. So much love. We are in times of big changes. And you know what? Those changes have to happen. And it's up to us to stay in that loving vibe and ride this wave. So take care and lots and lots of love from me. Bye for now. Bye.